How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be hopping into the postseason and finest event. I'm also going to be uh, playing a few viewer games here. These games are from my previous couple of live streams. I uh, was able to match up at least with 10 different people in the last few days after I was able to make World Series. Here we're starting off this game with a double from Babe Ruth after a single from Honus Wagner. Pretty good opportunity uh, to go ahead and get some runs here in this first inning. We're going up against another content creator, Yo Boy Plays on YouTube. I tried to ask him what his channel was. I whispered him on Twitch. So if you are watching this video, let me know what your YouTube channel is so that way I can uh, post it in the comment section down below because this was a pretty good game. I was only able to get one run there in the first inning as Yo Boy Plays responds with a double from Tony Gwynn. I thought I was able to throw him out right here, but the umpire calls him safe. Uh, not scoring more than one run in that first inning is going to come back into play right here as he as he ties it up one to one with Ken Griffey Jr.'s double down the line. But basically, uh, he got me to chase with runners in scoring position. I just uh, didn't really have the greatest at bats when I was able to uh, have guys on base. I wasn't able to get the big hit. And in these short and three inning games, you can't afford to give away outs like that. You can't afford to make mistakes at the plate. Uh, but at the same time, these are just friendly games. These are uh, always just for practice. And uh, it doesn't really matter who wins or loses. It's just about having fun and having a good time. But uh, anyway, uh, this opponent is able to smack one into the gap. Got a little bit of a lucky base hit right there. Not going to lie. I mean, that was a, a little bit of a late jammed hit. But that is Johnny Bench. He does have enough contact and power to muscle that one out into center field. Followed up with Andre Dawson uh, smacking one into the gap. He's going to be able to uh, get to second base with Johnny Bench. Not quite to third. Not enough speed there. But now he has Frank Thomas coming in off the bench. I brought in Billy Wagner. And this is not really a matchup that you would like. You don't want to ever face a lefty with Frank Thomas. As well as I missed my spot completely. I wanted that slider in on the hands. I missed over the middle of the plate. And uh, honestly, my pitching has been the downfall in these last few games. These last couple of streams I've been playing, I have been struggling on the pitching side. And uh, need to figure it out because I'm trying to throw pitches off the plate. I'm missing over the middle of the plate. And anytime you do that, uh, it's very similar to real baseball. If you try and throw off the plate... And you miss over the middle, bad things are going to happen. They're going to be able to get base hits much easier. At the same time, Yo Boy plays his pitching very well, getting me to chase a little bit. I jam myself with Babe Ruth right there. That was a good pitch on the inside corner. End up losing that viewer game. And I also played another one against Game, but since he since Game has played me a few times in the last few days, I decided to upload some highlights from this event. I wanted to try out a couple of these brand new finest cards. Well, I guess they're not really brand new, but they are the newest cards released into the game. I haven't really tried any of the finest cards out in ranked seasons other than the pitcher Jack Flaherty. Uh, so far in this game, I was able to hit a no-doubter with Pedro Alvarez and Kyle Schwarber, both postseason versions. I was using a couple different cards in this event. This is the Brian Anderson Finest, and this was uh, not my first at-bat with him, but my first time trying him out. And it's nice to, to uh, go ahead and use some of the cards that I haven't necessarily tried out yet, some of these Finest cards, uh, as well as face some of them. I uh, definitely lost some of these event games. I got off to a rough start. A lot of the people I was going up against had a much better team than me in this event and that's okay uh, uh i'm trying out a couple different cards i tried out the finest tatis he didn't really perform that well for me so i picked up the eugenio suarez and i put him at shortstop he gets the job done there with a two-run shot now we have kyle schwarber up again and it's really nice to use some cards that i haven't necessarily used or i wouldn't necessarily use in anything other than an event uh Get a no doubter uh, facing his common. He's still left in his common, even in the third inning here, as Schwarber smacks another one into the gap. Uh, the PCI size, you can definitely tell, is enlarged. We're facing a common with no stamina. And a combination of those things is going to allow me to hit the ball much better. He is going with uh, Blake Snell out of the bullpen, and Fred McGriff smacks that one into the gap. That's going to be just out of the reach of Ronald Acuna out there in center field. And I felt like I was able to hit once in a while with this team. I mean, I was not consistent by any means, and I ended up losing quite a few games. I think I started off the event about 500. Wanted to get you guys some of these gameplays where I was able to at least hit a little bit, as well as include uh, some some highlights from the opponent. But Eugenio Suarez has been pretty good for me. I felt like using a guy with two-handed short compact swing from the right side was a little bit better than a one-handed swing, at least for me. 
I lined out in that last at bat, but I felt like I squared it up pretty good. We're also facing some pretty good pitchers. This is the finest Garrett Cole, and Kyle Schwarber sends one deep against him. And the reason why I don't have a lot of the finest cards is simply because I haven't been completing the moments against the computer. I felt like it was kind of messing up my timing a little bit. I wanted to focus more on playing online games, playing this event, playing against you guys, and uh, just having fun with the stream, playing online and not really necessarily worrying about playing the computer but in this situation I felt like this was important to go back and go into slow motion I did not have my finger or my hand my left hand on the controller at all all I did was simply X swing I was itching my nose and I got lucky that he threw it over the middle but if you notice the PCI slightly moved a little bit up in the zone as I swung a little bit early in that in that swing and I made contact the PCI will move on its own uh, which is that Plate covered indicator will move on its own depending on your swing timing. Whether you're late, it will swing lower in the zone. Whether you're early, you'll swing up in the zone. So something to keep in mind there. I was able to get to 10 wins. As you can see, I locked in the two event vouchers that I got for each of my five wins in the event. I quit out of the run, collected those, went into the finest collection for the event, and uh, redeemed that Walker Bueller. But uh, in this one, we are going up against another viewer game, and this opponent was able to smack something two times in this inning. Two home runs. He goes deep with a two-run shot with Frank Thomas. We are going up against CCM Goss, and uh, some of these guys are really good. They come out swinging. I was not able to locate any pitches in most of these games, and that's 100% on me. I felt like at times I was uh, throwing too many meatballs, and those are going to happen anyway. There's only so many you can control. But in terms of my pitching feedback, it was absolutely horrible in some of these games. And there's no excuse for that. There's no way I'm going to go ahead and win some of these games if I keep pitching that way. And uh, with the randomness that there already is with pitching, you really have to be on point. At the same time, though, my hitting has been able to keep me in most of these games. I need to be able to get the big hit. There I missed the fastball with Willie Mays up in the zone. That's inexcusable. Can't afford to. Uh, miss pitches like that, especially on the 3-0 count, especially with the guy on second base and the best hitter against lefties in the game up at the plate. Anyway, uh, this guy is definitely squaring up the ball consistently. JT Realmuto smacks one. We're down three runs. We still have a chance to come back. This was probably my best swing so far in this game, and it results in a fly out to the warning track. I definitely wasn't all the way on that, but it would have been nice to get rewarded for a base hit at least or something with, with that Lou Gehrig swing. Anyway, uh, Roberto Alomar is going to smack one for a base hit. We get something going here down to our last three outs against Trevor Hoffman. Again, we are we are able to make a, uh, a comeback, or at least somewhat of a comeback, with this base hit from Griffey. We're going to have two guys in scoring position, and this is a great opportunity. I mean, no outs in the top of the third. Actually, a bottom of the third, down to the last three outs. Willie Mays up at the plate. I had a couple terrible at-bats at the top of my order. I ended up not even scoring a run in that inning, and he won 3-0. That was a great game all around. I had to tip my hat. He hit my mistake pitches as well as I was uh, unable to get the big hit when I needed to. I was unable to capitalize. But uh, hop into this next game here. We are going up against Ninja Bowers and uh, trying to get as many friendly games in, as many viewer games in as possible. I know that there were a couple people that were there for the entire stream and uh, were not able to play uh, because of Nightbot didn't select them and whatnot. That's going to happen sometimes, but I appreciate everybody tuning into the stream, checking it out. And I'm trying to make it as fair as possible, trying to let everybody uh, have a chance to play. I wanted to get into the event, so that kind of took away from some viewer games. However, uh, during the next stream that will be taking place tomorrow after I upload this video, we will go ahead and play all viewer games and uh, try and get as many of those in as possible. So definitely uh, check out the Twitch live stream for that. We have a situation with the bases loaded, a 3-1 count, and Ted Williams uh, smacks that one to center field. That's going to go over the fence. I felt like I missed that one. I felt like I kind of jammed myself a little bit. I didn't necessarily swing early enough, but we do get rewarded with a home run and the grand slam. I felt like I had hit a couple other, I hit a couple of these baseballs a little bit better than that grand slam in this inning. But uh, didn't get rewarded on either one of them. The one with Chipper Jones was good squared up. That one with Pablo Sanchez was good squared up, line out. And the one that I was kind of off ended up with a home run. So 
kind of interesting, something to keep in mind that sometimes uh, the feedback and what happens is out of your control. All you can really do is focus on the things that are, are in your control, and that's trying to locate certain pitches, uh, trying to have good feedback on your pitching, and that's something that I am struggling with. At the same time, what I can take away from some of these losses is uh, I need to swing at better pitches, especially with guys in scoring position. After looking at some of this gameplay, I need to pay more attention when I have situations where I can score multiple runs, kind of break the game open. I uh, intended to chase too many pitches out of the zone in some of these games, and that's probably why I wasn't able to win as many as I uh, as I lost. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.